Hi, I'm Mark Ayliss, Sony Global Imaging Ambassador. There are no prizes for guessing what I've been reviewing recently, and that is Sony's FE 400mm f2.8 GM lens. Now, Sony already have a 100-400 telephoto zoom. Uh, this was released uh, when uh, Sony bought out their A9 camera. Um, obviously, the A9 camera created quite a stir for people interested in action sports because of its 20 frames per second, its large buffer, its zero blackout in between frames, courtesy of its new stacked CMOS backlit illuminated sensor. Okay, but um, the 100-400 doesn't um, isn't enticing enough to bring um, a professional sports shooter over from Canon or Nikon, and the reason for this is it's a maximum aperture of f5.6 at the 400 millimeter end. Now um, the lens does have to grow in size in order to um, achieve that f2.8 working aperture. It's got to gather four times as much light uh, to give us that 2.8, which gives us that capability to work in low ambient light and also give us that figure ground separation. Now the lens is going to get a little bit longer because I actually haven't um, attached the lens hood yet. So let's just um, put that lens hood on so you can see the working length of this. Now I actually uh, transported this to a recent um, a professional uh, match at a stadium. I had this um, camera lens combination in a backpack, just a regular size backpack, uh, with my second backup body, the A7R3, with another lens for working at uh, shorter distances. And the whole kit came in at uh, 8 kilos with a very small light monopod. I have to say though, um, one of the advantages of this system over the competition is uh, Sony have managed to build this uh, 402.8 um, um, a kilo lighter uh, than the Canon or Nikon equivalent. Not only that, but um, some of the heavier lens elements are closer towards the camera body. And this makes it very possible uh, to work with this uh, combination handheld. In fact, I shot 90% of basically a two hour game with this lens handheld, chasing the fast erratic moving action. For me, a monopod just really makes the whole uh, um, thing of tracking fast erratic moving action that much more difficult. Combine um, that, the less weight, and half a kilo less on the body uh, with the A9 capability to have zero blackout. Uh, this can make uh, anybody with the right camera settings job of tracking that action um, so much easier um, than having to work with DSLR technologies, with heavier lenses, where you really have to put that lens combination onto a monopod after five or 10 minutes uh, because of the weight factor. Now, Sony uh, have built this up. Uh, it's a no compromise lens. There's lots of features on the lens. It's pin sharp, wide open, which of course it has to be for a sports shooter because 2.8 pretty much is going to be the standard aperture that you're gonna be working with, again, to give you that figure ground separation to uh, maintain a low ISO so the images are more usable with fast shutter speeds. Now we have lots of additional features on the barrel of this lens. We have a DMF button, we have um, a function button, we have more steady shot settings, we've got a little filter drawer at the back because no one's going to be putting filters on the front of this lens. But for me, with uh, all of the settings of the A9 set up, um, I basically could work um, and just toggle uh, I've got my AEL button set for a register custom shoot setting recall, so I could just cycle between um, single shooting and the 20 frame burst um, without touching any of these settings on the lens. I did, however, reprogram a little ring just in front of the focus ring, and you can probably hear that click. This um, uh, ring allowed me to toggle between APS-C mode and um, full frame mode just by a single click. So when the action was on the other side of the field, 
I could quickly just basically zoom in, start shooting at 10 megapixels, which is more than enough for a 4K image. And this allowed me to, uh, again, track the fast moving action, even when it was on the other side of the field. I also programmed the focus hole buttons, and there are four of them around the barrel here. I reprogrammed them to IAF, because this just uh, was another way, instead of using, say, flexible spot, I could track um, using IAF on the player of choice. Just move the flexible spot nearest uh, my player of choice and then move over to IAF. Such a great camera combination for tracking reliably. And again, for anybody who's already shooting sports from Canon or Nikon, the A9 is going to make it so much easier. The ability of coming off your monopods is going to make that so much easier. This is um, going to be a very attractive proposition for either people moving into sports or people coming over from Canon or Nikon. Now, if the 400 millimeter isn't um, long enough, if you need more reach, then uh, this uh, lens works seamlessly with the 1.4 and two times teleconverter. This will push out the effective focal length to either 560 or 800 millimeters. Shoot in APS-C mode on the A7R 3 and we get some crazy focal length equivalent of like 1200 millimeters. So we should have the reach um, that you need. And because we may sacrifice two stops on the two times teleconverter, um, but you're still um, got a working aperture to lock on reliably and then track. Now my tele uh, teleconverter of choice would however be the 1.4. This is such a pin sharp lens I don't want to sacrifice too much sharpness and so and I found that was possible um, when using the 1.4 I maintained those pin sharp images and uh, because of the megapixel rich images I would then prefer to crop tighter than using the two times teleconverter but it is an option. Okay so um, I think this is uh, going to be a winner. Okay, so for some people who can't afford uh, the capital outlay, the investment in this, um, then maybe you're going to uh, rent one. Um, if you get the opportunity to shoot um, some uh, rare uh, raptors, um, on a, maybe a, an adventure safari, or you're um, going to shoot a sports um, a match, alongside professionals certainly look into renting this lens a word of warning though uh, once bitten okay you are going to want this lens it opens uh, up such a, a world of creative possibilities um, certainly that figure ground separation is very compelling as you'll see from my um, galleries of ultra high definition images so you can see how this combination performs okay so if you've got any um, uh, questions about this combination, please drop them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, so I'm Mark Ayler, Sony Global Imaging Ambassador.